Now, I know what y'all are probably saying. David, what the fuck, man? You haven't posted a video in two months. What are you doing? I thought you said you were gonna be more persistent. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I say that a lot. I know I always say, like, when I get the posting again, I know I say I'm gonna be consistent. And I'm sorry. I've told y'all I'm sorry before. And I know I've told y'all sorry multiple times before, but I mean, it's just, um, I just, I don't know. I have no excuses, and if you hate me, I get it. Join the list of people that hate me. No, I'm kidding, but nah, real talk though. I just, I don't know, man, when it comes to YouTube. I I mean, obviously, I'm still active on other platforms, but it's just YouTube. I don't know what. I just, I don't know. I really got to get into the groove. I just got to get really, really, I got to really just stop procrastinating. I got to lock in with YouTube and all that stuff, but this is just a video. I know. I had like the two videos before, two or three, I can't even remember how many I made, just like giving tips and shit on like social media and just content creation and whatnot, but obviously this video is going to be a pause on that. I'm, I'm, I might continue that, I don't know if y'all want me to continue that, I will, but this video is just like, a, not really a life update, but just, you know, me talking to y'all pretty much, you know, like my other fucking videos, but you know, yeah, so like I said, it's just going to be a video of me talking, you know, seeing what's up. Telling y'all about some shit, and yeah, so we here, let's do it! Sure, most of you already know this, but if you don't, then you don't. If you somehow follow my YouTube, but don't follow my other socials, make sure you follow that, but that's probably not the case. Usually it's the other way around, but as you all know, I did meet Haley Welch, aka the Hawk Tua girl, and it was pretty funny. It was at DreamHack. Shout out to my boy Jericho for the discount, because basically, I was just gonna go for Saturday. I think the ticket was like 70, 80 something or whatnot, but my boy Jericho hit me, Jericho's Revenge on Instagram. He hit me up and he was asking if I was going or whatnot. And he hooked me up with a three day for 30 bucks. That's fucking crazy. If like, usually the three day is like, I think it was a hundred something, but he hooked it up a three day for 30 bucks, bro. That's fucking insane. I didn't go the next day. I only went for Saturday because I really was just going to go to meet her and shit, but. Shout out to him, bro. That's real as hell. And I've never been to DreamHack before. I, I'm definitely going to be there all three days next year. Same with Furry Week in Atlanta. I had a great time at Furry Weekend. I only went that Saturday, but next year, I'm there. Friday, Saturday, and fucking Sunday. I might go Thursday, too, but definitely Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm locking in. I'm wearing my tail. I'm getting another tail. I'm getting the paws. I'm getting the Dom mask. I'm getting a fur head. Nah. Let me chill. Let me chill, but... Nah, but DreamHack was cool though. I mean, I've never been before. That was the first time. I did see Crypto's voice actor from Apex. I didn't get a picture or talk to him or anything, but I did see him. Who else? I saw Rampart's voice voice actress. Who else did I see? I mean, I didn't really see anyone else that I like recognized really. I mean, they had like a COD mobile tournament too. That's crazy. A COD mobile tournament is insane. I almost wanted to, I almost wanted to lock in on COD Mobile after watching that tournament because I've seen like ads and like people play it you know Twitch and shit, but just mobile games. The only mobile game I really play is Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. If you know, you know. And the reason I play that still is because I've been playing that shit for years, like years, bro. Like that's the only reason I'm still locked in on that game, and I have spent money on it just because. I mean, it's Star Wars. If you know me, you know I like Star Wars. You know I like Star Wars. I mean, now I'm. I like Star Wars. Back to the Haley Welch shit. So yeah, that line was the epitome of brain rot. Like there was so much brain rot. I was in line by myself. Like I had one thing in mind, getting meeting her and whatnot. But there was so much brain rot in line. Like it was a group of kids in front of me. Like just hawk to a hawk to a hawk to a people behind me. Hawk to a hawk to. And then when she came out too, I mean she first walked out. Everybody was like, oh my god, hawk to a spit on that thing, spit on that thing. I mean yeah, obviously. Hawk to a meet and greet, Haley Welch meet and greet. There is going to be brain rot, but I'm in my mind, I'm just like, oh, brother, let me just hurry up, meet her, get out this fucking line. But she was, she's short. I didn't realize how short she was in person. I mean, she was cool. I, like the video, shout out to Jake. I didn't know it was being streamed on kick, but I said some things to her. I said some head ass shit. I was like, what did I say? It was an honor. It's an honor to meet you. Keep doing you. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but let the haters talk. I said some, <laughs> I said some head ass shit, but I mean, y'all would have did the same shit in my situation. I didn't ask to go on the show. I need to get on the show though. Haley Welch, if you see this, I highly doubt you'll see it. Talk to her, David Swag. Let's run it, generational now. Nah, but y'all would have said the same shit too. David, shut up. No, we wouldn't have. You would have. 
you wouldn't you might not would have said what I said, but you would have said some head ass shit to her in that moment. You know you would have. You know you would have. Um, also, even though this happened a while ago, Anime New York, I went to that for the first time and I had a ball. I had an excellent time. I cosplayed. I'm sure majority of you saw it. I also wanted to speak on this too. I crossplayed. I know a lot of people was like, oh, what the fuck, bro? This nigga gay. Ah, what the hell? Ah, I ain't, ah, ah, ah. What the hell you doing, bro? Humiliation ritual. Well, let me, let me debunk some rumors. I'm gonna go ahead and debunk some rumors. For one, I'm not gay. I know I, I, I do and I've done some stuff that might, you know, have you questioning, does he like girls? Does he like boys? Ah, ah, ah. Well, I'm gonna debunk that. I'm not gay. I'm gonna just throw that out there. I know, I know that might be hard to believe, cross-playing, you know, saying stuff that I say, and there's nothing wrong with that. I have plenty of gay friends, bi friends, trans friends. Trust and believe, I'm far from homophobic. I said homophobic, I can't even talk right, damn it. I'm far from homophobic. Let me just burst that bubble, I'm not gay. Two, humiliation ritual. Everything and everything I've, I said everything and everything, I can't even talk, bro. <laughs> Everything I've done and everything that I do, trust to believe there is no humiliation. I'm not embarrassed of what I do. Everything I do, I do with 100% confidence. If I wasn't confident in it, obviously I wouldn't do it. Everything I like, everything that I do, I'm gonna let it be known. I mean, just, that's that. Humiliation ritual, trust and believe, I don't get humiliated. If I've done something, then I've done it. I'm not humiliated about it, anything. I take full ownership of whatever I've done. Just just know, I don't get humiliated. Everything I do is because I want it to be out there. If I was humiliated, then obviously I would have never cosplayed in the first place. So yeah, I just wanted to debunk those rumors right there. As you all should know by now, no matter what anyone has to say or how anyone will feel about me, I'ma still be me and do me at the end of the day. Whether you like me or not, if you like me, that's cool, I appreciate it. And if not, you could suck a dick, that's all I mean. Just point blank, you could suck a dick, point blank. And I know a lot of people that, oh, I hate this guy. Ah, uh, uh, he's cringe. Everybody's cringe in their own way. Even the people that claim that everything is cringe, they're cringe in their own way. I mean, it's life. We all have our own life. If you're not helping me make money, if you're not paying for my clothes or anything, bills or whatnot, what you have to say negative about me is irrelevant. Like I said, if, you, if you're not paying for my food, if you're not taking care of me financially, or just in any way, if you're not taking care of me, what you have to say is probably irrelevant and I can give two fucks what you have to say. Just letting that out there. Yeah, I'm just letting that out there. Also, I mean, a lot of you probably won't care about this bit. I mean, you probably won't, but I am working on a new song. I know it's been months since I made a new song. Just know that it, this is gonna be a good one. I mean, obviously my music is for jokes and not serious or whatnot. You know, that's what everybody says, but not nah, for real. My music is for jokes and, you know, it's just some fun shit, but I am working on a new song. This song is going to be a fire instrumental. I can't wait. I'm finishing it now at the moment of this recording. I can't wait for y'all to hear it. <laughs> I can't wait, man. Beautiful instrumental, beautiful song. I love the song so much. The instrumental is so good. Y'all are going to see. I'm not going to spoil too much. Y'all are going to see. Y'all will see. I don't know if it's going to be out by the time this video comes out. Probably not, but... Y'all are gonna see, man. Beautiful instrumental. Beautiful. Beautiful. And as for trips and shit, I mean, honestly, I don't wanna go to New York again for a minute because I've been out there. A lot of people, they think I'm from New York too. That's the funny part. Like people hit me up, yo, bro, come to the city. I'm like, bro, I, I stay in Georgia. I don't live in New York, but I, the next trip I wanna take, I wanna go to Cali, but I have to pop out for an event. I'm not just popping out just to pop out. Like, there has to be a reason for me to go to Cali. Like, that's the reason I went to New York. Like, I had a reason to go. Like, whether it was a music event or, like, an anime event or something, I have to have a reason to get up and go. Like, I'm not just filthy rich. I'm gonna just pop out when I want to type shit. No, I have to have a valid reason. Not even a valid reason, just a reason. Like, it has to be an event that interests me. Like, I gotta wanna pop out. Like, a lot of you say, come here, come here. Go to here, go here, go here. That's for anywhere, too. Not just, like, Cali, but anywhere. Come here, go there. Please come here. I, I'm not rich, man. I I have to have a reason to go out there. I can't just get up and instant transmission. God damn, I just, I can't. I would love to, but I can't. I can't. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The merch is raps. I ain't dropping no merch. That shit is, no, no, no. 
jokes, jokes. I mean, I just gotta find a good manufacturer. Like, I have the designs and everything. Like, I have the, like I said, I have the designs. I just have to find a good manufacturer because I don't want to pull out no bullshit quality like a lot of these people do. I ain't gonna say no names, but I want my quality to be hard. I don't want it to be no Walmart, Hot Topic, fucking Spencer's ass t-shirt quality. I want it to be some like durable. You wash it multiple times. The print is still gonna be fine. The shirt, it won't have strings and shit coming out of it. I want it to be some good quality, so. Excuse me, if you're still waiting on that, then you real, you're real. Cause I would have been said, fuck that man, we ain't never getting it. I give up, but if you're still waiting on that, I really appreciate it. It's a lot of you probably, probably nobody's waiting on that if we're being real, but if you are waiting on it, thank you. Thank you, that really means a lot to me. I know I look sarcastic, sound sarcastic, but thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, uh, hopefully it's worth the wait. When it drops, hopefully it's worth the wait. Well, really, that's that for the video. Um, I just wanted to get up here and talk my shit just a little bit. You know, nothing too crazy, nothing too prolonged or dragged out or anything. Um, Yeah. Also, I want to thank everyone for the support because it's crazy. Like, it'd be people that, people just hit me up that I never thought would hit me up. Or people talk to me that I never thought would talk to me in a million years. And it's crazy, man. Like, life is funny. It's crazy. I just want to say thank you for the support. I know I always say thank you, but I really mean it. I'm just not on no bullshit saying thank you just to say it. I really mean it, man. Cause like the buildup is insane. The buildup is insane. Cause like I've been doing the shit I do for years and just the buildup is so insane. It is. Thank you. I I can't stress that enough. Thank you, man. Y'all are awesome. Great. We taking over. Nah, let me chill, let me chill. But thank you for real, for real. That's the end of the video. If you watched it, thank you. Uh, typical YouTuber shit. Like, comment, subscribe, share it, goddamn. Nah, you don't have to share it, but just to like, you don't even have to comment too, but just like it. And yeah, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. Thank you for watching.